So I bought this O'Reilly torque wrench, and it's not just O'Reilly. It's anybody who sells this type of uh, small torque wrench. It's a 3 8 inch, goes in inch pounds. But the problem was I got it home, and it would not click, no matter what the setting. Now, I took it apart. I ruined it, basically, uh, to take it apart and see what was wrong. And I think that when they assembled it, they assembled a cam wrong. But anyway, we put it back together and it works. You wouldn't do that before. So let's take it apart and see what makes it tick. I took the liberty of grinding this pin down right here so I can get this head off because otherwise I couldn't understand what was going on uh, in here. You can certainly take this end off uh, but I didn't understand what was going on in here without actually seeing it. So I basically ruined the torque wrench. I can find a pin to stick through there and uh, rebuild it. So, but anyway, we're going to take this pin out. I'm going to slide this head off, and you're going to notice that the end of this ratchet here is beveled. Well, the key to it is that the bevel matches this cam little cam looking thing and the key to it is that the bevel of this torque wrench matches the bevel of this this cam right here and i think what happens is in in shipment because a lot of people have complained about this torque wrench not working i think what happens is when you loosen the the barrel of the torque wrench this becomes loose and it's allowed to since it has no slots on it it's allowed to turn and what happens in shipping and just handling it turns off axis and now it will not click so i think the key to making it work is once you get it to where it works don't don't turn it off all the way don't take all the tension off on torque wrenches you're supposed to when when you get done with your torque wrench you're supposed to back it all the way off but on this one i think it's going to cause you problems but anyway so the whole key to the uh, to the torque wrench working is this bevel here and how it snaps. It snaps on this little roller bearing here. Let's take the uh, the, the bottom end off, okay, and you just take this this nut right here off. Nut comes off back this this part off this is your calibration nut calibration sleeve I guess and you're going to find there's a screw right here little Phillips screw what that does is that holds your locking mechanism on there take that dude off your locking mechanism comes out, or it's supposed to come out. Okay, locking mechanism, adjusting sleeve. Take this barrel off, and you're gonna notice a pin in there. This little pin that holds this in there. Well, it just, it just falls out. So it's not pressed in. And then you just pull this out, and then that's it. You're 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 clear clear. No, wait a minute. There's a spring in there. All right, come on, spring. My bad. All right, so we're gonna put this thing back together, and the, the key to this working is to maintain the relationship between this angle on the ratchet part and this angle on the cam part. You want it to be like this. So it's pretty simple to uh, to reassemble. So we're gonna take okay spring goes in first. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put this pin in last. So we put this the uh, spring in, and we put this part that's got the little hole in there in. I'm gonna drop the pin in. Don't mind my shaky fingers. Okay, now that won't come out. 
I'm gonna slide the barrel on there. I'm gonna take this, this part, which is the adjusting collar right here. There's two sides. There's a flat side, it's got two pins on it, and then there's kind of a, a hollowed out part. You want the hollowed out part pointing this way. Okay. Put your, this is the locking mechanism here. Put that through here, screw it on until you've got a, a clear spot to put your screw in. Wow, I'll never be able to do that again. My hands shake so bad, I'm surprised I was able to get that screw in there. All right, just snug the screw down. And we're gonna thread this in. That's an ultra fine thread right there. We're gonna back this off. Okay, um, we got about that there. Then we're gonna put the locking nut on here. Now, calibrating it is a whole different dog. So, I'm going to use a weight to calibrate this, but this will be a, that'll be a different video. Still got to figure that out. All right. Now, we want to put these two parts in the barrel here. Maintaining this relationship. So, we got the beveled in going this way. I'm going to push it in so that I don't, I don't mess up that relationship. All right, I don't have the adjustment barrel back far enough, so I'm gonna back it off. I'm keeping pressure on the head so that we don't lose that relationship. I'm gonna put the pin on there. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on there. What the hell? Well, hell. That little uh, ball bearing that we had at the end had fallen out of the, the cam right here. So, so came right out. So you can uh, stick some, uh, some uh, lithium grease in there to hold that in if you want to. There's, it looks like two ball bearings in here and a pin. Okay, and all that moves. So all that comes out, even this little roller comes out. And this roller is greased. So, you know, if you pack it with grease, it's no big deal. But anyway, so just slide that in there, maintain the relationship between the bevel of the head and this thing, and then put your pin in. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to trot myself on down to the hardware store and get me a grade 8 bolt that will uh, go down here about that size and, uh, and get rid of this here pin, and we should be good and ready for calibration.